In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create and manage a stage channel. A stage channel is a new addition to Discord. You could have done the same thing with a voice channel, but this is a rebranding of the voice channel feature, kind of like to compete with Clubhouse. So yeah, so let me show you how to get it done. The first thing you need to do is have your server, of course, right? In order for you to create a um, stage channel, you need to have community enabled. As you can see, you don't have it here. Um, with a normal server. So let's go ahead and enable community first. Let's go to server settings and Then we're going to enable community get started and this is all blah 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 just do that um, at, at your own pace agree with the terms and finish setup, right? We have community enabled yay now So now that we have community enabled, let's go ahead and click create channel and click stage channel Right here, you can name it. I will advise you to use some sort of a brand, like whatever you will call a podcast of yours, right? Um, because this is going to be um, somewhat of a place where you can gather people with, like a YouTube channel, a podcast, whatever. So you just call it uh, whatever. The Invisible Podcast. <laughs> yeah. So uh, here you can choose moderators. Moderators in a stage channel are not the same as moderators in a Discord server. A moderator in a stage channel will be able to move a user from the audience to invite them to speak or move them from speaking to back to the audience and, and stuff like that. Like from speaking to listening and from listening to whatever or kick them or whatever. But like they don't really have any other server special permissions like to kick someone out of the server and stuff like that so you don't really need to set up special permissions on the person you can literally just tag them um, for example i can choose this other user of mine to be a moderator and this person will have permissions to move kick and all that so i'm not gonna add it i'm just gonna skip it because i want to be a normal audience member when i go in so i want to click skip and now i'm going to join this stage channel and today's debate is going to be about why am I not subscribed, right? Why not, man? So I'll click open the stage and I will be the main speaker because I was the one who created the stage channel, right? So I'm right here. Hello, everybody. So if I'm speaking, you will have this little aura thing going on around your profile picture. And basically, these are the list of members. No listeners yet, as you can see here. So let me separate the screen in two. I'm going to move this to the left and then the other user to the right. Okay. Okay. So here I have my other user on the right. Let me join this server. As you you can see here when you have a stage channel um, active it displays this little icon right here so we click that server and then we're gonna have this little card right here live now why am I not subscribed right I can listen in I can directly join to this stage channel from the upper left corner so I can just listen click here or there doesn't matter right so now so I'm now, listening now. Ooh. 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 <laughs> okay so now <laughs> Now I'm, um, I'm joined in into the room. I'm the one speaking and this is the one listening. If I would like to speak, like I post a question and I want to say something, right? Just like a radio station, you post a question and people call in. I can just say like request to speak. When I have this little um, hand raised thing, it means that I am requesting to speak in this particular state channel, right? So here on the left as a moderator, I can click here, show requests, and I will have this one person requesting to speak. If I want them to speak, I can just click here, invite to speak. If I don't want to, I can just dismiss, right? So let's say I just posted a question. I want this person to speak, so I'm going to invite to speak. And now this person will be displayed this banner. You have been invited to speak. If I want to, if I'm ready, I can click accept. And now this person will be speaking with me in the room. As you can see, impossible, whatever. They will have, um, it will display the two people that are speaking currently. And um, yeah, so basically as a moderator, I will be able to remove this person from speaking. If that person is done or is just doing some blah, 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 I can right click on him. I can disconnect from stage, which is kick him in out of the channel, or I can just move it to the audience. Goodbye, sir. And now this person is back to only listening, right? So pretty much those are the basics of the stage channel. If you use Discord often, you will see that when you're in a voice channel and you leave, it's just like, doo -doo. it makes like a little noise. But here you can leave without making any noise. You can leave and nobody will notice. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool.
It's a pretty good uh, rebranding of what they already had, which was a voice channel. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful rest of the day, my friends, and stay safe out there.